Well, that's the rods all in place, so hopefully one of them will drop off and we can have a pike to show you. But firstly, I'm gonna talk through what you need to unhook the pike safely. So first thing I've got is a nice padded unhooking mat, and you want an unhooking mat big enough for a big pike, because you never know your luck. Secondly, in case I want a wire pike, the scales and the weigh sling are all zeroed, all ready to go to save you time once you've got a pike. I don't feel the need to weigh every single pike. I think it's more important with the smaller pike just to get them back in the water quickly. The second thing, and one of the most important things, is the tools that you've got to unhook them with. Firstly, a fine pair of forceps. Sometimes you'll need to just gently go in through the gill rakers to twist hooks out, and that's when we use those. Next one, long nose pliers. You can really grip onto the trebles tightly and turn them out nice and easily with those. And then I've got a pair of side cutters. The situation when you use your side cutters, sometimes a treble hook, all three trebles, will get caught in the pike's mouth and it's a lot easier just to cut one of the points of your treble off to turn the hook out. I'd rather sacrifice one of my hooks than harm the pike. So you won't need them that often, but just in case you get in that situation, it's best to have some. I might add, once I've got a pike, I'll make sure the mat is nice and wet. And if you're quite new to it, you might want to use a glove to hold them when you unhook them. I've probably been pike fishing for over 20 years now, so I'm quite confident without a glove. The other bit of advice, if you're a little bit unsure still, have someone with you who's done lots of pike fishing, someone who's got a little bit of experience just for you to unhook your first few. But hopefully one of them drop-offs is going to fall off and we'll have a pike on the mat and we can talk you through how to unhook it properly. Well there we go, one of the drop-offs has fell off. We've got a pike in the net. So I'm going to collapse the head of the net down just because it makes it a lot easier to carry the pike to the mat. Similar to your, your carp fishing, just make sure his fins aren't being bent back. We'll uh, get him over the unhooking mat and we'll talk you through how to get the hooks out safely and quickly. Right now I've got the pike on the unhooking mat. I like to put the pike between my legs, just holds the pike nice and still. I'm not actually applying any pressure from above, but it allows me just to get hold of the pike on the bottom of the mouth. Tease his mouth open. I don't know if you can see, but the trebles are just in the back of the mouth. We'll probably just tease the front one out like this. Oh, there we are, nice and easy, that one. The other time you might want to use these thin forceps, sometimes you might want to come in through the gills like that and turn them out. Let's have a look at him. not a massive pike we aren't going to bother weighing it I think it's more important just to get it back in the water nice and quickly and hopefully we'll get one worth weighing a bit later on well, I've, I've carried him back down to the water in the unhooking mat just to be sure so it's quite a hard stony bank here just rest him in the water until he's nice and strong and ready to swim off if it takes a couple of minutes just make sure he's properly recovered before you let him swim away. He seems happy enough. There we go. <laughs> Brilliant. 